and welcome to episode 7 of Kerbal Space Program. Um, I'm going to be in this episode building a space probe. Um, so it's going to be an unmanned vehicle and I think I'm going to start with... Um, am I going for this or am I going for smaller than that? I think I'm going to go smaller than that because I want a really tiny space probe. So it's quite useful because recently they've just added lots of really tiny things so you can get this sorry not this um, that's always been it but now you can get really tiny RCS tanks so RCS is less efficient actually but you can do kind of docking with it whereas previously you couldn't really so I'm gonna try and do this all properly um, and one useful thing is to have an ion engine because they're so efficient so you can shove a couple of tanks of ion fuel um, or xenon sorry not ion they're really they're really ion thrusters I think in real life you can get them uh, but these are called xenon um, because they are um, and there's a couple of other tiny things I want so I want Clampertron Jr um, but I want to have that attached at a later point. So I may want to have um, one of these really tiny fuel tanks. Sorry, RCS tanks. And I'll also have this weight thing. So I want to make sure the weight is on here. Uh, since that's where the um, I forgot what I'm saying. Since that's where the... Go on, go on. You know you want to. There you go. Okay. So that hopefully hasn't offset it too much. It doesn't seem to have. Um, I've kind of forgotten what I was about to say, but never mind. Um, anyway, I want to have some solar panels, so I'm going to go utility, and I'm going to shove some batteries on here, actually. Actually, I don't think I'm going to have... And I think I'm going to have another ion tank. Wow, that engine is really heavy. Um, I'm also going to put that down here. And, hmm. These are the solar panels I'm having. Maybe I will have RCS then. Um, let's see what happens when I put RCS on. This is slightly too high. So if I remove that, remove that, and then put that on. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now we have RCS, but I need to turn center of mass off. And that should get rid of you. And I have four of these placed there, I think. And right in the centre of mass, so it should be able to work fine. Although actually I could be tactical and only have two. The only problem then is that Hmm. Decisions.
Pro 1. And I'll save it. Okay, so because this is only a tiny diddly little spaceship, we probably only need some tiny little things to have to like um wording. Um structural. We need a tiny little engine to get it into space. So I'm just gonna have a tiny decoupler. Um and we will also need probably one of those. And that fits absolutely perfectly. It couldn't fit better. And we could fit that on there and that on there. And we'll have a small little sorry, no, we'll have a big SAS. Then we'll have one tank and then we'll have an engine. We'll just have a poodle engine just so we can get it to the right place. Okay. So now we're going to want a really big tank. We can probably do a skipper engine. Although actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what I usually do. And I will need a decoupler. Bigger decoupler. Where are the big decouplers? There. No, they're not in the same section. So we'll have mainsail, and then we'll have. We could probably get away with just two, I think. We'll have. Mm, no, we can have three. We have three or two. Now we'll have four. No, we'll, we'll live with two. <laughs> How much fuel to have? The big debate of Kerbal Space where more fuel is generally the uh, most common way of doing this. So I actually do want Mech Jeb probably on this bit. Or this bit. I'll put it here. And I do want that symmetrical because it's such a small thing, it might, 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 might make a difference. Though actually, we can actually try that. We can get rid of that. Have centre of mass on. No, it doesn't actually make a difference. So I think I will just have one of these on. Four fins. Some of these on to get some structural integrity so it doesn't blow itself to pieces. Okay, and I'm also going to want to add two of these just so we can have fuel going from the radial engines to the middle one, the middle one and then we want all three of these going off then we want both of these and then we want big decoupler then we want that tank and we want diddly decoupler okay so I'll just go add two of these on just to hold it And I'll put them in a separate thing. I'll save and I'll launch. Okay, and if you want to see the launch, uh, please join me in the next video, um, which won't be too long, so you should be able to find it um, in the next couple of days. Um, and we will be launching this space.
probe. Um, so if you want to see it, make sure you join me in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, like the video. If you really liked it, favourite it. And if you want to see more and want to support me and keep me going, uh, subscribe and then you can keep up to date with all the videos and you'll see everything I make. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye.